All right, so today's lesson is module eight, lesson 10. Today you, are, you will partition circles and rectangles into equal parts and describe those parts as halves, thirds, or fourths. Any words you need me to define for you. Any words? All right, I'll remind you of some words. Partition has the word part in it. Partition means we're gonna break it into parts or pieces. We're gonna take circles and rectangles and we're going to break them into equal parts to describe halves, thirds, or fourths. So if this is my rectangle and I wanna show one third, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the equal pieces and I'm gonna fill it in. If I have a rectangle and I wanna show two thirds, I'm going to take two of the equal pieces and I'm going to fill them in. If I have a rectangle and I wanna show three thirds, I'm gonna take all three pieces and I'm gonna fill them in. Everybody understand what they want you to do today? If they say to show one third, you are going to fill in one of the pieces. If they, show, if they ask you to shade in two thirds, you are going to fill in two of the pieces. If they say to shade in three thirds, you are going to shade in all three pieces. All right, let's go to our math book. If you have your math book, go ahead and open it to page 43. Open it to page 43. And on page 43, they're asking you to do multiple steps. Aliyah, you are very distracted. Can you stop being so distracting and listen, please? Thank you because it makes other people pay attention to what you're doing and not listen to what I'm saying. This is like the classroom, okay? It says, do the shapes in problems 1A show halves or thirds? Halves means two equal pieces, thirds means three equal pieces, fourths means four equal pieces. You need to answer this question with a word. B says, draw one more line to partition each shape into fourths. You're gonna draw one more line in these shapes to turn it into fourths. Okay, question two. Nehemiah, you have a question? Go ahead. 43. Okay. Berlina, unmute yourself. Go ahead, Berlina, ask your question. Um, it's okay if you can't see the screen, I'm making a video and then I'm going to post it on, on the webpage and you can see what I'm showing in a minute. Okay. Jeremy, you have a question? Go ahead, Jeremy, ask your question. Aliyah, I'm going to bump you out of the meeting if you keep being distracting. Do you understand me? Jeremy, try that again. Jeremy, I couldn't hear your question. Can you type it into the chat?
London, what's your question? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Papi, deja de lavar los platos porque tengo dificultad oyendo aquí. Gracias. London, can you uh, type your question into the chat? I can't hear you. All right, we're going to keep going. Question two, partition each rectangle into thirds. Thirds means how many equal pieces. Think about it. Then shade the shapes as indicated. So you have to partition it into thirds and shade in three thirds, shade in two thirds, shade in one third. Question three, partition each circle into fourths. Then shade in the shades indicated. Shade in four fourths, shade in three fourths, shade in two fourths, shade in one fourth. Question four, which is on the next page. Partition and shade the following shapes as indicated. Each rectangle or circle is one whole. Please partition this to show fourths and then shade in one fourth. Partition this to show thirds and then shade in one third. Partition this to show halves and then shade in one half. Okay? Partition this into fourths and Shade in three fourths, partition this into thirds, and then shade in three thirds, and ooh, partition. Can you partition two shapes into three halves? No. So, what they want you to do is partition this small square into half, and this small square into half, and then shade in three of the pieces okay I'm gonna explain it again I saw the shiny's face go what mrs. Pagan I'm a little confused you're gonna partition this into half and this one into half and then show me how many and then shade in three halves okay question five Split the pizza below so the Maria, Paul, Jose, and Mark each have equal shares. Think of how many people this, that is. Label each student's share of the pizza with their name. What fraction of the pizza was eaten by the boys? And what fraction of the pizza was eaten, did the boys eat all together? Okay. All right, go ahead and do pages 43 and 40, uh, 42 and 43, and we will come back at 245 to go over the answers. You see where it says math mini lesson? I'm going to connect this video to that in case you need to hear it again. Where it says math mini lesson, I am going to connect my video. But give me like five minutes because I have to download it to YouTube, okay? Okay, everybody, go ahead and do pages 43 and 44 on your own. I'm going to end the meeting.